Hey guys, this is our last video for Unit 3 on the mole. We're going to be talking about molecular formulas now. So molecular formula means the actual formula. So this is where vocab plays a critical role. You have to know the difference between molecular formula and empirical formula. One note to make is that the molecular formula can be the same as the empirical formula or a multiple of it. Of course. I'm going to rewrite this really quick. I apologize. So actual, it can be same as or multiple of empirical. Okay. You'll, if you're not sure exactly what multiple means and what I'm talking about, so let's take a look at this example. CH3 is the empirical. It's the lowest whole number ratio. A molecular formula, a possible molecular formula for that having that empirical could be C2H6, where we just multiplied each subscript by 2. We could say C3H9. Okay, Same idea. A lot of times you may be asked to um, simplify a molecular formula and just put it in the lowest terms possible. All right, so that's where knowing your definition and the difference between the two is very, very, very crucial. Okay, because you'll see at least one question dealing with molecular formula on your regions. So, how do we calculate molecular formula? Well, we know it has to be some multiple of an empirical. Okay, so for you math people out there, this is kind of a little formula, or two formulas, I should say, and this is the process I'm going to show. For those of you who are conceptual, you can kind of reason it out, right? Because what they're going to give you, and they have to give you this, they're going to give you the molar mass of the compound, okay? They will give you the mass of the entire compound, knowing that also the empirical formula is given to you. Now, they could give you the empirical formula directly, like this example has, or they could make it a little bit longer and they could give you percentages and you have to calculate the empirical formula, then figure out what the molecular formula is from that. We're going to take it step by step. You'll see practice with all of them. So let's dive in. Okay, we're given the empirical formula. We're given the molar mass of the compound, also known as the molecular mass. And then we need to figure out the molecular formula. So MF equals EF with some X subscript out there, right? Because remember, we've talked about it previously. If you have an X on the outside, it distributes in to all the other subscripts. So we need to figure out what multiple um, this X is for our empirical formula. How, much, how many times larger is the molecular mass than the empirical mass? That's essentially what we're doing here. So X equals my molecular mass which is given to me. It has to be given to you, otherwise you can't do the problem. Over my empirical mass. Alright, so in this case, 283.89 divided by, huh, was I given my empirical mass? Not directly, but I have the empirical formula. So we can then go ahead and we can calculate the empirical mass from that. Right, just get the molar mass. So 2 times 30.97, because that's phosphorus, plus 5 times 16, and that's our, our oxygen component. So when we do that math, oh boy, seriously. When we do that math, I'll rewrite this number. 283.89. Okay, when we do that math, we get a, an empirical mass of 141.94. So we can plug that in down here, 141.94. Just gotta be patient. Okay. When we do that math, you should end up with two. So now that we found X, we can calculate our molecular formula. So our empirical formula is P2O5. Our X value is 2. So I'm going to just distribute in 2 to all my other subscripts. So my molecular formula 
is going to be P4O10. Okay, so it's not anything completely brand new that we've learned here. It's just one extra little step. Okay, so go ahead, do practice A, ask questions as you have them. All right, and make sure you do all of the practice. Practice nine, guys, is empirical and molecular mixed. That's what your quiz will be on. All right, so get help, do lots of practice, ask questions. I'm here for you. Until next time, I'll see you in the next unit.